Here comes the module trucks. Hello, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. If you've ever wondered, well, what happens to the cotton after we pick it? I'm about to show you. So, we pick the cotton with our cotton picker. We dump that cotton to a ball buggy. That ball buggy takes it to a module builder, and the module builder makes this. So that's your conventional square bale of cotton. It's kind of the old way to do it now because the newer pickers make a round bale. Uh, and then we mark it, we put a number on it, and then the module trucks come and pick it up. So I'm gonna show you how the module trucks actually get it out of the field, and then they take it to the cotton gin. All right, guys, well, the trucks are here. I'm here with Noel, and he works with uh, Cloverleaf. Uh, getting all the modules up. You would just kind of give us a rundown of uh, what you do to get these modules off the ground. Uh, we just come in with these trucks. Each one of these trucks, they have uh, chains in the back of them. They have like, right. like a conveyor belt. Gotcha. And as soon as we pick the bed up and activate those chains, they'll just pick it up and slowly go work its way inside the okay. truck. And you've got the remote in your hand now, so you actually don't back it up. You just press the remote and that does it, huh? Oh yeah, I got these tracks right here underneath the truck. Mm -hmm. They help drag the truck right underneath it without no problem. I can stand out here, watch it, no problem. Right, make sure nothing's nothing's Nothing. going crazy. Right, I'm, make sure I'm getting every bit of cotton off the ground. There you go, all right. Good deal, well we're gonna fly the drone up in the air, get you guys the aerial view and uh, get her scooped up. Seems simple enough. As simple as it That's can. it. <laughs> so from here, you just take it to the cotton gin and drop it off in the yard until they're ready to, to gin until it, right? Ready to gin it. That's Got right. Uh -huh. Cool. All right, Noel. Appreciate it, bud. All right, man. Have we'll, a good one. We'll be back again. Yep. All right. Happy Thanksgiving. There it is. That is how it's done. Good job. So I know a lot of y'all are thinking, man, that is a lot of cotton on the ground. Yeah, it is. It was pretty windy when we picked here. and had a really chance to clean it all up. But we usually got a trader. We'll come back, get it all cleaned up, and uh, then take that to the gin. Well, guys, that is how it's done. Um, just going to play now some footage from cotton season that didn't make the cut in the normal videos throughout the year. Uh, harvest is over, and hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for watching. Jesus loves you guys. Keep in the field rows. See ya. Bye. If you jump down from up here, you're going to get hurt, bud. You'll have all four broke legs. All right, here we are. Five, oh, you're, you're already taking over. Okay, well, five people and a, a Dachshund a dog. A Dachshund dog. Doc, Dachshund? Dachshund. I never say it right. He always says Dachshund. You say Dachshund. 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 My dad always says Dachshund. Dachshund.
Dad, Dad always says dot sand. Dot. Well, dot sand. Head back sand. I can't see the side of the rose. Dot. Mr. Keefe, you run it. You ready to get out? Yes. Let's roll. Be careful. Want me to help you? Why did I go this way? Keefe said he's got a surprise for you. Is that a whole bag of M&Ms? I got peanut butter in there, milk chocolate, and peanut kind. Nice. How many M&Ms you get? Probably a hundred. A hundred? Doing great. Come on. You like Rocco? Is he a good dog? Not nice. Rocco's not nice? Come on, Rocco! Rocco is not listening. You wanna pick some off? You can pick some off. See? I'm on. You're so big. Daddy. Hmm? You got daddy. Yeah. Where did he go? Rocco! 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 Rocco, what are you doing, bud? Load up. Come on. This dog's pretty good. I want to eat him. It is. I Come want on. To eat him. Twi 12 foot, Peepy? I think so. 12, 12 foot brown disc. And we've got some barons that went out and we're in the process of changing them. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta turn the wrong way. Oh, goodness. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Dang it. Man, he went the what? wrong way. To the right? No. Yeah. Righty tighty left to loose. That's, yeah, that's right. Come on. Come on, More? Here, if you'll, uh, if you want to just hold this. Look good? Sit, sit. I can't see you. Uh, hey, Mark, maybe stand right there. Sit. Better. So, so now that we've got it tightened up with our three-quarter inch Ingersoll ran, the next step is we'll install it on the 12-foot brown disc. Year 2000. Y'all young instead of far. We did it. Alright, so we got the. So Keithy and I got the two barons swapped out. Now we just got to tighten up all the rest of the gangs. And this is the disc that we'll use to put in our uh, cover crop. Also, some oats. What? Wheat? We plant wheat? I guess. I think some, a little bit of wheat and a little bit of oats. You realize this disc right here? Yeah. You realize this disc right here would fit in the cab on one of Zach's tractors. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you're right. Good gracious. He's got it going on. I'm going to pick my peanuts every single day. Turning in the candy like a payday Sitting in this tractor seat all day long 
Gave me all this time to write this song about farming. Oh, my daddy died. He's buy me a new tractor. I love the way they shine. Oh, daddy, if you.